It's going to take millions and millions of dollars to repair storm damaged roads in Santa Cruz County. They've been scrambling for funding through federal and state emergency aid, even looking to tap into the half cent sales tax for Measure D that was approved by voters in November as a financial resource. This is a game changer. We'll be able to uh, restore our roads over a period of time, all our storm damage. The proposed $52 billion to fix state roads would be through a big gas tax increase. It would be the first in more than 20 years the governor wants a 12 cent increase on a gallon of gasoline, 20 cents a gallon for diesel fuel, and a 4 percent increase in a diesel sales tax. Some Santa Cruz County drivers back a gas hike. Our roads are so bad around here that I would be glad to pay 12 cents a gallon to get the there's places on my road where you're, they're just, it's ready to fall off. The proposal also includes strict new accountability provisions to ensure funds can only be spent on transportation. Money would be used to fix streets and transportation infrastructure, including road repairs, potholes, and public transit improvements. You know, when you, if you have the resources that comes in with the new gas tax, it would just be awesome because it's, I mean, we'll be able to do so much for the community. Currently, local jurisdictions are preparing a five-year plan on how to utilize a half-cent sales tax from voter-approved Measure D funding that begins this April. And that can include you know, anything from uh, yeah, addressing the storm damage that, that has occurred recently, as well as uh, trying to improve transportation for bicyclists and pedestrians and a variety of things. Santa Cruz County leaders also believe this satirical greeting card campaign showing storm damage to Santa Cruz County roads caught the attention of state lawmakers. Those things were well received and the message got across that California counties need help right now. And state lawmakers in both the Senate and the Assembly expect to vote on the measure by April 6th. Aaron. All right, Phil, thank you. Uh, the state has given us a, at least a glimpse of how much Monterey County and San Benito County stand to gain from the proposed gas tax. We're told Monterey County could see an additional $10 million a year, while San Benito County could see about $2 million a year.